What's up beautiful people, it's your boy Joshua Martin, and here's what you need to know about the new SLR Magic Micro Prime Cine line. This is a totally redesign of the previous E-mount Cine lenses with slightly better optics. They come in a fully metal body lens with the proper gears and a focal length lineup of 25, 35, 50, and 75 millimeters. The Micro Prime lineup only comes in Sony E-mount. I'm gonna make that clear, these are for Sony E-mount. The T-stops will vary between T1.2 all the way to T1.5. They have an 85 front diameter with an 82 millimeter filter thread. These lenses all have internal focusing which means the lens barrel will not extend when you're rotating the focus ring. And the focus ring has a 150 degrees rotation which is kind of beneficial for some of these smaller cine lenses. So for instance, if you're hand holding this, you won't be over rotating your arm trying to you know, throw focus. It's gonna just be a nice bang bang 150 degree turn. And all the lenses are the same length, so you don't have to worry about adjusting your follow focus while switching out the lens. Since they're all the same length, if you switch out one, put back the other, you can just quickly reattach the gear to the follow focus and continue filming. And lastly, they're all about the same weight. So again, if you're switching out lenses on a gimbal this time, you don't really have to rebalance because it's going to be the same weight. So you can just kind of move quickly switching in and out of lenses. Similar to the bigger and more expensive brother, the APO Hyper Primes, the Micro Primes have a 13 bladed aperture for more rounder bokeh. Another key factor is that optically the bokeh in each Micro Prime is exactly the same throughout the range. Which means if you haven't noticed the theme, that it stays consistent for the look that you want. So that's probably the biggest thing I've noticed about these lenses uh, and what SLR Magic is trying to do. They want to make these primes, these semi primes, consistent all the way through. Overall, what makes these lenses special is the price range, which they come in about $800 a piece, uh, and they'll be shipping out sometime in May. Now, these lenses are not for everyone, obviously, because these are E mount for Sony cameras. I think this is pretty big for Sony filmmakers who are those running gun, smaller form factors who are using photo lenses and want to kind of break away to using more cinema style lenses with their actual gears and T-stops. This is probably right up their alley. So if you're in the market for something like this, I say check this out once they come rolling out in May. But until then, y'all, I will catch you on the next one. And when I get my hands on these lenses as well, I'll be doing a more in-depth video that talks about the sharpness, flaring, all that good stuff. So until then, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Deuces.